Where's the damn button? Hey everybody, Blake here from SpoilerFreeMovieSleuth.com and I feel really out of shape. It's weird being on this side of it. Yeah, how do you like these nuts? Because I just saw 300 Rise of an Empire, or as I've been calling it, 300 on a boat, motherfucker. I walked out of this flick taking away three things from it. First one is CGI blood and a lot of it. I have never seen so much CGI blood in my life. It was flying through the air, it was flying at the camera to make use of the 3D gimmick. Uh, the second thing was dust. There was a lot of dust in this movie, in the air in every shot, and when it wasn't dust, it was embers from campfires, and when it wasn't that, it was blood. When you go underwater, there's floating Greeks and these really weird sea creatures that look like they were shat out of the Phantom Man-Ass. And of course, the third thing is speed ramping. Wow! I've never seen so much speed ramping. Uh, Noah Murrow's use of speed ramping in this flick makes Zack Snyder's use of it look positively conservative by comparison. It really does just feel like a director trying to imitate Zack Snyder. So if you're one of those people who, having seen 300 and Watchmen, got kind of weary of that Zack Snyder style, this movie will make your head explode within the first 15 minutes. And I get it, I get why it was used so much because 300 in its own way was kind of a game changer. It was an epic film that was made completely in studio. Almost every other frame in that movie could have been a still photograph. This does look like a 300 movie. The imitation, it works to an extent, but is it as good? No, no it's not. And a lot of that can fall on the fact that this is just an imitation, even though Zack Snyder did write and produce the film. And our leader has nowhere near the charisma of Gerard Butler. Sullivan Stapleton, that name by itself, Sullivan Stapleton, that, that to me sounds like five or six good ass kickings in high school. This does not seem like a dude that you would follow into battle to die with. It seems like a dude that you'd go have a beer with. You need a guy that has that innate authority, no matter how many inspirational speeches he may want to give. And that's not to say that Sullivan Stapleton is bad in the role. It's far from it, actually. He just, he's an everyman. And when I'm gonna go running into battle with nothing but my abs to protect me, it better be worth it. He better be worth it. On the flip side of it, you have Eva Green, who is phenomenal in this flick. She's completely sinking her teeth into this role and having so much fun with it. You can tell from frame one. She's authoritative on screen, she's sexy, but more than that, she's a badass. And considering this was based on a graphic novel that was just called Xerxes, we don't really get a whole lot of Xerxes in this movie. So Eva Green really is the central villain, and it's a performance that chews the scenery and it just spits it out onto your plate and you're asking for seconds. And when you have this gargantuan, epic, operatic, kind of atmosphere in this movie, that kind of performance really hits just the right note. And contrary to Sullivan Stapleton's kind of everyman general performance, which works but doesn't work as well. The story was actually very well done. I do have to give them credit for that. I mean, as much of a story as you can have when it's basically just a bunch of, you know, bristly dudes with abs running around and like, you know, trying to kill men with armor still not really sure about that. The story, it's kind of like a Paranormal Activity 2 situation because it has events that happen before 300, it has events that happen during 300, and it ties those in together very well, and then it also follows up after the events of 300. In that respect, it was a success. I did like that a lot. And most of the time I did find myself just simply enjoying the movie. I mean, it's not great cinema by any means, but if you're just looking, you know, for a couple of hours to kill and some soda and popcorn in your mouth and, you know, some boobs in your face, because Eva Green's got great ones, you could do a whole hell of a lot worse because I went and saw Devil's Do and that's already an early contender for the worst film of the year. I'll take 300, Rise of an Empire on a Boat, motherfucker, any day. Anyway, this is Blake from SpoilerFreeMovieSleuth.com, and hopefully we're going to have a lot more of these videos coming out to you very soon. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you at the movies. This is Sparta! <laughs>